rebuttal. I am no assassin. I'm yeah, yeah. Okay. Press. As an ice cream salesman, you must know quite a bit. I'm sorry, Edgeworth. Not to about ice cream. It should have been all one sentence, but of course, ask me anything you wish. Curses! I don't know anything about ice cream. Oh, what a sad life Edgeworth leads. Hmm, so, um, what's the most important thing about ma making ice cream? Mr. Edgeworth. The most important thing about making ice cream is honor. Is it now? Honor to make ice cream? Without honor, ice cream is nothing more than sweet ice. Do you understand? I am just a simple ice cream salesman. A simple, honorable ice cream salesman. All I did was put on that red raincoat. Oh, okay. okay, hold. Why did you use a red rain a raincoat instead of a, an umbrella? Because he can't hold it and his ice cream at the same time. Is it strange to wear a raincoat on a rainy day? It's strange to purposely wear a raincoat when you can't get your arm into it. That's yes, true. If both of my hands were occupied, I wouldn't be able to serve ice cream. Why didn't you mention that in your testimony earlier? Well, hang on. How do you serve your ice cream? Do you have... You surely have a stand or something, and you could have an umbrella over that. Just like a standing umbrella, so you don't have to hold it. I'm terribly sorry. It must have slipped my mind. After all, I had just gone through all that. All that? The shooting of the president, of course. It surprises me to see the bodyguards... It surprised me to see the bodyguards take action just before the gunshot rang out. That would be surprising. What were they doing? Opening up their empty briefcases? So the bodyguards reacted before the gunshot went off? Yes, the bodyguards moved first. The one on the left side of the stage, in particular. Left... Is that from the audience's perspective, or is that, like, stage left? You saw it all quite clearly. I have good eyesight. Except in your left eye. The names are written on the upper left of the security plan. Bodyguard on the left side would be... Mr. Rook? Okay, so from the audience's perspective. That is correct. Mr. Ethan Rook, I believe. Perhaps he noticed the light from the laser pointer. That man is no ordinary individual. From their actions, I don't believe that the bodyguards were amateurs. This man isn't an ordinary individual either. Please add that statement to your testimony. As you wish. Okay. Exceptionally quick. Do we have a profile for him? Uh, can't present profile. It's okay. Interesting. We'll just press him. So the bodyguard on the left was faster. He reacted in just an instant. His response time was superb. I believe his name was Ethan Rook. Yes, we've covered that. I see. He had plenty of time to react. Not necessarily. Yeah, I don't know why you would say that, Edward. His expression never changes. Everyone in the audience immediately tried to escape, creating a state of panic. But you yourself did not run? No, I did not. Aha! What were you doing then? Amidst the panic, someone gave my wound a big wallop. Oh, I was in terrible pain. I felt like sparks would shoot out of my eyes. Ooh. But in reality, no sparks came out. Yes, thank you, Kay. Sparks don't come out of people's eyes, Kay? The person who wore the red raincoat is the assassin. That's very clear from the photo. However, Mr. Doe is saying that person wasn't him. That's just some story you made up, sir. Rip off his disguise, Mr. Edgeworth. Yes, in any case, I need to start exposing his lies. That's right, and in order to do that, we should press him for more details. Okay, so we're back at the beginning, yep. Um, so we want... Uh, the man on the left side of the stage is exceptionally quick. What does that mean? What does that mean for us? Hang on. Let's check the security plans. Pay extra attention to the lake area, he was told. Uh, 
Rook takes Knightly's place. What does that mean? So, uh, let's refresh myself. What are we looking for? Man, on the left side of the stage was exceptionally quick. Okay, you can Rook. Um, all right. So we are looking for some sort of contradiction now, probably. Gosh. Let me look at this again one more time. So is there any reason why Rook would be faster than Knightly? The extra attention to the lake area, that wouldn't really be a reason, would it? Rook takes Knightly's place. Hmm. Also, we've got to remember that these plans were inside the bag with the gun. <clears throat> well, I don't think it's that. Let's look at the other stuff. Ooh. How about the photos? Um, nothing there. Uh, look at, look like... They're about equally alert there. No clues there. Man. Professor Layton has hints. The Professor Layton versus Ace Attorney has hints. They were very nice. So, you know, you could get a clue about what to do without having to look it up online and risk spoiling things. Uh, is there anything here? Oh, hang on. Let's, let's read those. According to the schedule, there's a meeting after this? You seem quite pleased that the Itagarasu incident has been resolved. That seems very unrelated. A oh, shrill old man. That would be, that would be Winston Payne. Uh, okay. That doesn't help. Um, trajectory. It's on the left side. Rook would be watching the left side. Um, boy. Okay, well, let's take another look at all of his testimony then. I need to see the bodyguards take action just before the gunshot rang out. Uh, can't contradict that, can we? Because they clearly are in the picture with the laser dot. Mm. And that red raincoat and listen to the president's speech. There's nothing else he did. Some ice cream salesman. Huh. Okay, well maybe they're doing that thing where you have to press things multiple times. We'll go through and try try that. See if anything happens. Yeah, it's not that. Okay. How about this one? It's not this one. Okay, how about this one? This one, this one's really weird. Okay, it's not skipping. So this is the right one. So the bodyguards reacted before the gunshot went off. There's no mistake, I have good eyesight. About that, you appear to be wearing a monocle. If I could see the ice cream, I'd be... A, if I couldn't see the ice cream, I'd be a poor ice cream salesman. I wear it to ensure I deliver the best quality ice cream. I've heard all that I can. Any further arguing on this subject is pointless. Really? They have you press something multiple times, but the second time is, like, pointless? Back to what you said before, of the two bodyguards. Well, that's weird. That was weird. Okay. Uh, keep going, I guess. Nothing new there. 
Okay. He did not run. Okay. Well, let's think about this then. No assassin, just a simple ice cream salesman. I don't think there's any way we can disprove that. All he did was put on that rain coat and listen to the president's speech. Nothing much we can do about that. It surprised me to see the bodyguards take action. Just before. Why? What's the deal with. Are those briefcases? What are those? They look like briefcases. Why would they open empty, empty briefcases? Let's try this. Nope. You know what? Since they're both in the same position in that photograph, I bet we have to present that on the next statement. Try it. Music didn't stop, so apparently not. Okay. Okay, well. Everyone in the audience? Let's see. There's nobody standing still. That's unfortunate. Getting a state of panic. Yep, sure looked like it. Ah, uh, man. Hmm. Oh. Oh gosh, and he has his gun. Hang on, sorry. He has his gun pointed at Winston Payne. <laughs> oh. What an opportunity. Hmm. I don't know about this one. Look at the evidence again. Uh, oh, Seem, doesn't seem like there are any contradictions here. <clears throat> oh, this is interesting. She was close enough to get that uh, conversation between the two old men, and they are right there in front of the assassin. So where was she? She must have been super close. Uh... Okay. Well, okay, let's go through this one, one at a time, once again. All I did was put on that red raincoat and listen to the president's speech. And he also took it off. Is that uh, surprised me? Mm. Why would he take it off in a hurry? Let's try it. Let's try it. Nope. Okay. Uh, surprised. Hang on. No, 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 that's not him. And no, 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 that's not. Of course not. Of course not. Surprised me to see the bodyguards take action just before the gunshot rang out. Hmm. Let's try it. I'm trying whatever. It's not this.
Could it be anything else? Hmm. Oops. I am stumped on this one. Um, let's, uh, what did, what did, what did our partners say about this? There's some war of the rain, the rain choice, the assassin, that's very clear from the photo, however, you know, was saying that person wasn't him, it's just some story he made up, rip off his disguise, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh boy, pressing for more details, I did. Left side of the stage, exceptionally quick. I have no idea. Yeah, I'm just trying things at random here. Try this one. Nothing. Although this is a different denial, Mr. Peter Edgeworth, can't you see my ice cream is melting? The problem now is not your ice cream, but your testimony. Huh. Okay. So, no. Ugh, man. What? Steel Samurai? Just before the gunshot rang out? Uh. Oh, the gunshot. Dang it. Oh. Two shots. No? Man. Any glasses? No, I do not. Is that so? Do you need hearing aids? Yeah, there is. He say he thinks there's one gunshot. I don't have a clue. It can't be this. It can't be that. No. I'm going through this as systematically. Let's press him once more, I guess. Nothing. Again, nothing. Oh, I can. Hmm. Let's try this. Uh, wrong button. Let's try the steel samurai balloon. Nope. 
Nothing. I'm gonna lose at this rate. This... Normally it would be this statement that you would have to contradict since it's the new one, the one that got added. Mr. Ethan Rook. How does he know? How do you know? How do you know? It's top secret! Got it. <laughs> that took too long. Seems you aren't just a simple ice cream salesman after all. You think too highly of me, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Why would a simple ice cream salesman know the name of the president's bodyguard? Yeah! The name of the bodyguard? Surely you jest. Didn't you say their names just a moment ago? You and names to kill her. You have a trouble with them. Mr. Knightley and Mr. Rook, correct? I never said his name was Ethan. This is a diagram of the security plans. We learnt of their names just from, uh, from this. However, please look. Only their surnames are written here. You distinctly said Ethan Rook. How did you know his full name when we did not? That's pretty weird, sir. Why do you know his name? Explain yourself. That was merely a slip of the tongue. It's true, this guy is the assassin. He has a friend named Ethan, and he just he got he got a little confused, that's all. Young lady, you're being a little hasty. The reason I knew his name is quite simple. What? I am an acquaintance of Mr. Rooks. What? He and I have a bit of a connection. His is a name that I will that I will, that I will never forget. It's Mr. Edgeworth, he's just telling a big fat lie. This is not a lie. I am just a simple ice cream salesman. And an acquaintance of Ethan Rooks. In that case, let's just ask Rook himself about this. Whether or not he's he's acquainted with this dubious ice cream salesman. As you wish. However, that may pro prove difficult now. He is currently busy with the president's security, after all. Besides, even if I am not an acquaintance of Mr. Rooks, does that prove that I fired the gun? If you aren't the assassin, then why did you remove your raincoat? It was a little hot, and the rain had stopped. I wanted to air out the wound. Is there a problem with that? Erg. I just can't seem to corner him. He can? He took it off in a hurry. Why would he take it off in a hurry? He was really hot, that's why. Mr. Edgeworth, what are you doing? Hurry up and arrest him! I'm, I don't think I can do that. I'm not, I'm not with the police. I guess prosecutors have a uh, higher power in this universe than in real life, don't they? That man's so suspicious I didn't even arrest him myself. Arrest him without evidence? How could I do such a thing? Come on, Mr. Edgeworth, can't you do something? Breaking news, the criminal is on the verge of escaping the prosecutor. Oh dear, they're already treating me like a criminal. I understand. Since I've been suspected this far, it seems I will have to tell the truth. The truth? What is he up to? I saw another person wearing a red hood. I saw another person wearing a red hood. Wha what? Surely that was the person who was in the photo. I first noticed him right before the speech, when it was still raining. He caught my eye because his raincoat was the same color as mine. In his hand, I saw a laser pointer with the light aimed directly at the president. It can't be. There's another person wearing a red hood? I knew that, I knew that if I wore the red raincoat, I'd be mistaken for the assassin. Mm hmm. It's, it's good. It's sneaky. That's why I took off the raincoat. That's good justification. You saw an assassin wearing the same color hood as yours? Hmph. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a nice coincidence? That's what I expected you would say. Which is why I did not testify as such. Prosecutors and the police are a suspicious lot. I knew that nobody would believe me. 
At the moment of the incident, the assassin was very close to the prosecutor. Uh, prosecutor? I only arrived after the incident. It means the chief prosecutor. Not you, Prosecutor Edgeworth. That prosecutor over there. Oh, the, he's not the chief prosecutor. Please tell me he's not the chief prosecutor. Yes, you should be visible in that photo. Indeed he is. Here, right in front of the person in the red hood. That's me, alright. What's your point? What's this man driving at? I have been observing your investigation this entire time, Prosecutor Edgeworth. And I have noticed something strange. Something strange? Hmm. Seems you still haven't noticed this contradiction yet. A contradiction? In this photo, the people who can be seen are the chief, Mr. P... Chief. The chief prosecutor? That's the gray-haired guy? Mr. Payne? And the assassin? I don't see anything strange. Please think back carefully about the circumstances during the president's speech. I believe you are holding the evidence that contradicts this photo. Is it... is it... do I have evidence that contradicts this photo? I'm gonna guess it's the uh, Nicole's tape? Since she would have to be nearby? Like really, really near nearby? Uh... Yeah, I think that's it. I'm gonna go with it. Tip recorder. It can't be. There's a contradiction between the photo and the tape. It seems you've noticed. Mr. Edgeworth, what's going on? There's a person missing from this photograph. Huh? Who is it? Yes. It's rather strange. Someone who should be there, but is not. The person who should be in this photo is... Nicole Swift! Oh, hang on. What does it say about Kay? Self-reported great thief searches for the truth as the second Yatagarasu. Okay. Simple enough. Nicole Swift. Huh? M Miss Swift? Why would you say that? Hmm? Mr. Payne's voice was recorded on Miss Swift's tape. He was whispering quietly with the Chief Prosecutor. I don't think they ever clarified that. Those are from the folks standing in front of me. I reckon it was two older men. They kept on whispering to each other. Okay, she did. Seems Miss Swift was near Mr. Payne when she recorded the speech. Ah, but she isn't anywhere in this photo. That is correct. Now, Mr. Prosecutor, who is the one you should be pursuing? Mm, I don't think that really incriminates her at all. Nicole Swift, would you mind get Oh, yeah, it does, because she could be one you're right. Okay, got it. Would you mind giving us your testimony? Come on, it feels weird when you talk all formal like that. It's fine. I ain't got nothing to hide. Miss Swift's testimony. It ain't like I stayed in one spot while I was recording. I was moving around the audience area, shuffling here and there. I reckon this picture must have been snapped at a different time to my tape recording. So quit making that scary face. That's that's kind of Edgeworth's default. He can't he can't stop it. It ain't what you think. Miss Swift's tape recorded tape recorded. Miss Swift. Miss Swift tape recorded a conversation between my colleagues, Mr. Payne and Pro Chief Prosecutor. Why would Nicole be lying? That would mean it would mean Nicole Swift is the assassin, pal. Y'all gotta be kidding me! I ain't done nothing like that. Be that as it may, however, there is a contradiction in your testimony. Huh? I don't reckon so. No, sir. It appears I must reveal this contradiction with evidence. 